I wonder if you had a chance to look at my assembly last week and what you thought about the book that I read to you, Let the Children March. Maybe you've had a chance to think a little bit more about those children who made a real difference to the world, not just in their time, but also to those who've been born after them. Over the past week, I've become aware of another focus that's begun to dominate our televisions, newspapers and social media. The attention on Black Lives Matter has given rise to concern about some statues that have been put up over the year commemorating people of significance. You may have seen some of them as you've visited different places in the past. Some of them um, celebrate people whose actions now cause us to question whether it's appropriate for them to be recognised in this way. Some people have actually gone further and pulled those statues down. You may have seen one of them, Edward Colston. He was a slave trader about 350 years ago and his statue was thrown into the river in Bristol. All of this has made me begin to think a little bit more about history and how the story of each of our lives impacts others. History is full of young people who have astounded the world with their thoughts and creations. And you may have heard of some of them. Greta Thunberg, she started out missing class so that she could go and protest for climate change in front of the Swedish parliament. But she's ended up inspiring millions to demonstrate across the world. Or Malala, a little girl in Afghanistan who wasn't allowed to attend school because she was a girl. That was when the Taliban took control and so she spoke out about a girl's right to learn and she's become an activist for girls' rights around the world. But then, have you heard of Ryan Hickman? He was only three years old when he began to collect recycling from around his neighbourhood, but he now campaigns to keep plastic out of the ocean and he's recycled 809,000 cans and bottles and donated over $10,000 to the Pacific Marine Mammal Centre. Or there's Jalen Arnold. Jalen always knew he was different and he was bullied for it. But then at the age of eight, he decided to take action on behalf of other bullied children. And he started a website for his classmates with the message, bullying no way. Jalen's Challenge Foundation now has a programme that teaches kids how to recognise bullying and appreciate those who are different. These children and young people may not all have a statue to commemorate them, but what they've done in very different ways has made a real difference to the world in which we live. They are awesome. But everyone at Winslow Church of England School believes that each one of you is awesome as well. You're the reason that we come to school each day and we want to inspire you to make a positive difference to our world. Have a look at the CBeebies message that I've posted. That will give you a, a similar message to what I'm saying, but a belief that all of you can make a difference. You are all very different, but we believe in you, each one of you.